Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The 21,738 crore rupees procurement of 111 naval light utility helicopters is on track and might be the first big procurement of the new government. Three international manufacturers including Lockheed Martin Airbus and Bell Helicopters have submitted proposals yesterday to build their helicopters through an Indian industry designated as strategic partner and the international partner have been mandated to establish a dedicated manufacturing line including design integration and manufacturing processes in India and make the Indian manufacturing line as a global exclusive facility for the platform. The Indian Navy has listed out six critical technologies that the international partner must transfer as part of the contract, along with transfer of manufacturing technology for the assembly line. The first 16 helicopters will be built from the foreign production facility, and 95 helicopters must be manufactured in India with 60% indigenization. The Trump administration has said that India's decision to buy the S-400 air defense system will have serious implications on its defense ties with the US. A senior State Department official has said that India's decision to buy S-400 system is significant because it will lead to future high-tech cooperation with Russia and it will have an impact even if it increases its military purchase from the US. He also mentioned that the same serious conditions for Turkey will apply to India if it proceeds with the S-400 procurement and the deal could result in US sanctions under the Katso Act instituted by the US Congress. Meanwhile, Turkey has proposed the joint production of the S-500 anti-ballistic systems with Russia. The Indian Army is expected to successfully complete the user trials of the 155mm 52 caliber advanced towed artillery gun system within the next two months, which would pave the way to start the series production of India's first indigenous howitzer. The Ministry of Defence will issue a request for proposal to both Tata Power for the G1 prototype and Bharat Forge for the G2 prototype for supplying 150 systems, and one of the prototype will later be shortlisted for procurement, based on performance and commercial bids. According to experts, the new defence minister will have to immediately address the issue of depleting squadron strength of the Indian Air Force, and even though the first batch of Rafale fighter jets will start coming in by September, the Indian Air Force will still fall critically short of fighter jets to counter the dual challenge from China and Pakistan. The new defense minister will have to address the urgent requirement of 114 fighter jets worth over $5 billion for the Indian Air Force, the long-delayed project to build six more conventional submarines under Project P-75I, the procurement of six tanker aircraft, the delayed FICV and FRCV vehicles for Indian Army, and indigenous projects of national importance like the Cavalry Engine. Lieutenant General Robert Ashley, the director of the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency has said that according to a new U.S. military intelligence assessment, China is likely to double the size of its nuclear stockpile in the next decade and is in the course of implementing the most rapid expansion and diversification in China's history. The Federation of Scientists estimate China to have an arsenal of about 270, which makes it the fourth largest arsenal in the world. Thank <laughs> you.